Here in question number 16, a particle starts moving with velocity 10 meter per second in positive x direction at time t is equal to 0. The particle has constant acceleration a is equal to minus 2 meter per second square. The average speed of the particle in the time interval from t is equal to 4 seconds to t is equal to 7 seconds. Initial velocity was along this direction that is 10 meter per seconds and the acceleration was negative that is meter per second square negative direction. So actually particle moves along the direction it will come to rest instantaneously and yet again it will move back along the direction. First I need to find out when actually it comes to rest. Velocity was 10 minus 80 a was 2 into t is equal to 0 I am getting the value t to be 5 seconds. So what actually has happened? At t is equal to 5 seconds the body instant come to rest and it moves along the direction that means before t is equal to 5 seconds the body is moving along the direction and after t is equal to 5 seconds it was moving along the direction acceleration being same that is 2 meter per second square along this direction here we need to calculate the average speed of the particle in the time interval t is equal to 4 seconds to 7 seconds that means 4 seconds will be here so if I assume the acceleration to be along this direction only so this distance will be S1 is equal to 1 by 2, acceleration is 2 and this time is how much? It is 1 second, 1 into 1, it is 1 meter I am getting here. And for t equal 7 second, this is t equal 5 seconds, so further along the direction it would be 2 second. So it is S2 is equal to 1 by 2, A is 2 and time is 2 into 2, it is 4 meters. So overall from here to here, the total distance being 1 plus 4, that is 5 and the total time it is being 3 so this is the average speed of the particle in the time interval from t is equal to 4 to t is equal to 7 second question number 16 I am having the answer as option 1 that is 5 by 3 meter per second is the correct answer now let's take on to question number 17 in question number 17 given the function y is equal to 2x cube plus 3x square minus 36x plus 7 we need to find out the maximum value of this function. Simply I will find the derivative of this function and I will equate it to 0. It will be as uh, 6x square plus 6x minus 36. So equating this part to be 0 I will be getting x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 and it is x square plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 3. Well, uh, this particular equation it is uh, 2x cube plus 3x square minus 36x plus 7. Cubic function is having the positive coefficient so I would simply say this will be the nature of the graph somewhere maybe it will be crossing in downward direction but this point at which the first differential is coming out to be 0 it is x is equal to minus 3 and it is x is equal to 2 definitely at x is equal to minus 3 I shall have the maxima of the function and x is equal to 2 I will have the minimum of the function yet another method that you may deploy here that is finding out the second derivative I am just escaping uh, to that point simply because I got the answer that at x is equal to minus 3 I will have the maximum value. I'll just put the value of x equal to minus 3 here. It is 2 putting the value of x equal to minus 3 it is minus 3 q plus 3 minus 3 square minus 36 minus 3 and plus 7. Solving it I'm getting the answer y as 88. So that is the maximum value of this function. So here for question number 17, option 1 is the correct answer. Now let's take on to question number 18. Here in the question number 18, the initial separation between particle P and Q is D. At time t is equal to 0, P starts moving towards right with uniform velocity u and Q starts moving from rest towards right with uniform acceleration a. Minimum separation between P and Q if they never meet is. Initial separation being D, initially this particle is having the velocity U and it starts with acceleration A. So if I find 
the relative separation between these two particles. I would simply say it is d was the initial separation and this separation if it decreases it is ut minus 1 by 2 a p square. This is the separation of these two particles. Here this is the particular portion that will vary. So when it will be this value will have the maximum value I will have the minimum separation. To find out the maximum value of this portion I would just differentiate this portion as uh, differential of that part will be u minus 1 by 2a into 2t is equal to 0 and from here I will be getting t is equal to u by a. What it means? At time t is equal to u by a I will have this separation s to be on its minimum value. That means s is equal to d minus now let's put the value of t to be u by a it is u square by a minus u square by 2a or s is equal to d minus u square by 2a. This is the minimum separation between the two particles. Here I am having option 2 as the correct answer for the question number 18. Now let's take on to question number 19. Question number 19 a ball is dropped from the top of a tower 125 meter high the ratio of distance traveled in last second before it hits the ground and the first second of its motion g has to be taken as 10 meter per second square well from here to here let's say this height being 125 meter the ball is dropped from here so how much the time it takes to cover this much of the distance first we need to calculate that time i would say 1 by 2 g to be taken as 10 into t square it is 125 or 125 into 2 it is 250 divided by 10 25 square root of that part is t is equal to 5 second very much clear that the particle will take t is equal to 5 second to fall through this much of the height question was to find out the ratio of the distance traveled in last second before it hits the ground and first second well for the first second it will take the time of one second itself i'm saying it to be the distance is s1 1 by 2 g was 10 and t being 1 it is 5 meter and for the last second here it takes 5 second and before that up to 4 second this is the distance tool cover so I need to find this much of the distance so this s fifth how it has to be written now this distance being you must be knowing the formula or you need to evaluate the in other way it is 1 by 2 expression was 10 t square is 25 minus 1 by 2 it is 10 and t square is 16 I am having here as 5 25 minus 16 it is 9 so it is 45 so the ratio is s in fifth second divided by s in first second it is 45 divided by 5 that is 9 this is the final answer for question number 19 option 4 is the correct answer now let's take on to question number 20 here in question number 20 the particle starts moving from rest at t is equal to 0 in a straight line with a constant acceleration of 2 meter per second square at time t is equal to 3 second the acceleration changes sign remaining the same in magnitude if the particle returns to its initial position at t is equal to t naught the value of t naught is value of t naught has to be evaluated from the initial reference well let's have a small elaboration for the question initially if the particle starts from here it uh, moves for three seconds expression being how much two meter per second square so i would say this much of the distance cover it three seconds speed at this time it would be six meter per second and the distance it must have traveled up to here is one by two a is two into t square that is 3 into 3 this is 9 meter from here onwards the has just been reversed so further it will take 3 second to comes to rest instantly that means this distance is yet again 9 meter and here the speed is 0 
it will turn along this direction further it will take 3 second distance is 9 meter velocity would be 6 meter per second along the direction and again it will reach to the initial point so if I see how much the time actually it is taking here to here 3 second 3 second further 3 second this is the time it will take to reach at this point if I am calculating this time t dash from here to here I will add this time to the 9 second and that will be the final time instant of the t naught. Perhaps the elaboration is very clear. Let's calculate this t dash now. This distance being 9, 6 into t dash plus 1 by 2, expression being 2 into t dash square. So we cancel out. I will have t dash square plus 6 t dash minus 9 is equal to 0. This t dash is minus b plus minus root into b square minus 4 ac it is minus 6 plus minus b square 36 and plus 36 is coming out to be 72 that means 6 root 2 divided by 2 this t dash cannot be negative it means uh, it is uh, 3 root 2 minus 3 this is the value of t dash so the value of t naught is how much t naught will be this 3 second, this 3 second, this 3 second plus this t dash. That means 9 plus this much, it is coming out to be uh, 9 minus 3 plus 3 root 2 second or it is 6 plus 3 root 2 second. Looking onto the option, 3 has been taken as the common value. So it is 3, this is 2 plus root 2 second. Well, option 3 is the correct answer for question number 20. Now let's take on to question number 21. 